Hello and welcome back to Curbstone City and another episode of ECW Lives on TEW 2016. And now technically this is the second part of the last episode as this is only going to be one show as well, but this is the midweek one that I promised. But this time we're in Osaka, Japan with ECW Revolt. And then we start with a video hyping tonight's main event and it will be the ECW World Heavyweight Champion Minoru Tanaka taking on the ECW Osaka Heavyweight Champion Samoa Joe in the title unification match. And then all of the champions of each belt are shown in a video montage just to hype up like the lineage of the titles. And this got a 56 C minus. And then a video airs again because we're in Japan. I can't really do promos. So we've got a video airing showing CM Punk's open challenge over the past few weeks. And tonight Punk will face one of the best Japan has to offer live in Osaka. And it's got a 44D, so not great. And then Kenta accepts his open challenge for the ECW television title and CM Punk gets the win by submission after 10 minutes 15 with an Anaconda Vice. So we're going to try and showcase Punk's submissions a little bit more. And Punk got a 62 and Kenta actually got a better rating with a 66, solid from both of them. And it's got a 65C to start. And then we go to just a squash match, Vampiro defeating Kentaro Shiga in 1 minute 58 by pinfall with a choke slam. But Vampiro pulled his hamstring. Vampiro got a 68-46 for Shiga. And yeah, he's just a local worker. I'm not even sure who he is. But yeah, he's doing the job. And 53 C minus. And yeah, Vampiro pulled his hamstring, says Harley. This time Sting faces the other half of the Phenomenals in a match. And Sting picks up the win again as he did last time over Fergal Devitt. This time he's beat AJ Styles in 9 minutes 45. And again, this is just to give AJ a rub and hopefully boost his popularity. And this is probably AJ's best match. In fact, I'm sure it is. It's 78B, 82 from Sting. So solid from him. He's improving his performances. Which is probably because I spent about 1,500k on bonuses just to keep him happy. Because he was, he was angry at me. So hopefully I, I think that might have helped. And yeah, AJ with a 64. It's a really good match from them two. And it's not even the main event, so that's solid. And then Minuri Tanaka makes his entrance wearing his golden robe flanked by Paul Heyman. And Heyman has a Japan flag over his shoulder. And once they get to the ring, he hands it to Tanaka. And Tanaka opens the flag and holds it in the air. He then throws it to the floor and stamps on it and then kicks it out of the ring. So we're just getting Tanaka some heel heat in the crowd. And then Samoa Joe, the music hits. He walks to the ring with a straight look on his face. He means business tonight. And the performance of Minoru Tanaka was fantastic. Paul Heyman performed poorly, apparently. And 63C. It's good stuff from Tanaka. And now the Japan crowd don't like him, as he's usually a baby face for New Japan. He's... I think he's still one half of the junior heavyweight tag team champions over there as well. And then in about that had great wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. Minoru Tanaka defeats Samoa Joe in 14 minutes 47 by pinfall with a fast roll up. And Minoru Tanaka makes defense number two of his ECW world heavyweight title. And he wins the ECW Osaka heavyweight championship. And, uh, and it looks like I forgot to take slow build off. The match was supposed to be 20 minutes, but I made it shorter because the game was complaining that there wasn't enough promos and there was too many matches. So, uh, I took down the time from 20 minutes to 15 and it's, I forgot to take slow build off. So that's affected the rating 64 C. Well, hopefully the Sting AJ matches held the rating up for the final rating anyway. And then Minoru Tanaka had an in-ring performance of 84 and 66 from Joe and he seemed off his game. And then after his victory, Tanaka and Heyman quickly escape up the ramp when suddenly Tanaka is hit with a gore from Rhino. And Heyman runs off, dropping the belts in the process. And then Rhino drags Tanaka and the ECW world title to the ring. Important to note that he hasn't got the Osaka championship here. And then Samoa Joe locks Tanaka in a Kakina clutch. And then Rhino stands with the title in his hands as he stares at it. And then Joe stands up and he spots Rhino. And then he slowly approaches him, looking him dead in the eyes. And Rhino looks up and sees him. 
And then he hits Joe around the head with the belt. And then Rhino drops the belt on Tanaka's chest and walks up the ramp with the, with his head down. And yeah, t- Rhino making no friends here and taking everyone out, no matter who you are. Rhino is not your friend. <laughs> and 90A. So yeah, good segment to end the show. I'm glad that got a good rating since the match wasn't that good. And we got a C plus 71 and I don't think that's good enough for the TV deal. We'll have to see. Hopefully they don't complain. Um, but yeah, this show increased our popularity in 21 regions. And there's been no complaints about the TV rating from the provider, so we must have met our requirements. And apparently Angel Williams is now dating Claudio Castagnoli or Cesaro. Vampiro sustained a pulled hamstring at last night's ECW show, so we're going to check that. He's actually working through it, so that's all right. And then the rating for the TV show got 3.42. And before we go and end the episode, we're going to be buying or taking over XPW, which is basically a copycat of ECW. And they've had a bit of a rivalry um, over the years. And once at a pay-per-view, at an ECW pay-per-view, the XPW wrestlers were actually in the crowd and they were basically shouting things at the ECW wrestlers. And then after the show, there was like a massive fight in the car park between the two like for, for real as well and it looks like we are going to win the war so we're going to take them over and there's actually some thought behind this i'm going to be taking a couple of these contracts here speculate in the comments who you think i'm going to be taking but there's someone in this list that won't join ecw and this is the only way i can get him um and it's only going to cost us 37 grand to end this war and to get this contract that I want, hopefully, he does good enough to work on Global Glory, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm not going to show you who I'm going to get. Uh, you can join me in a second after. So yeah, as you can see, we're going to pay off the debts of XPW and pillage the company, so that company will be no more. And XPW has been pillaged. And one last thing. The Asaka Heavyweight Championship will now be sadly retired. I really like the design of the belt, but... We've got the heavyweight title, we've got the junior heavyweight title, we've got the tag titles and we've got the television title. We've only got a one hour show and yeah, that's gone. And that's why Rhino left the belt on the floor, just to write it off a little bit and to show the ECW world title as the important one. And also the GPWC world heavyweight title won't be on the show for a while um, for the same reasons as I said before. But that, that's why I gave it to Keiji Muto and I was hoping he'd be defending it in Japan because he actually works for New Japan as well. But he's not doing anything with it. So yeah, now we have four titles to base our shows around and may as well run through the champions while we're here. And you can pause to see the lineage of each one if you want. But yeah, we've got Minoru Tanaka obviously as the ECW World Heavyweight Champion and he's made two defences after defeating Rhino who made nine. And then we've got the ECW World Junior Heavyweight Champion, Low Key, who's made one defense. And we've got the ECW World Tag Team Champions, Jay Briscoe and John Cena, who are currently away recording an album, obviously. And then we've got the ECW World Television Champion, CM Punk, with four defenses. He is the self-proclaimed straight edge assassin and he's marked the belt with his infamous X. So yeah, uh, hopefully you're enjoying the series so far. And if you are, hit the like button and subscribe for more TEW 2016 and general wrestling content. And until next time, peace. <laughs>